and two and a half minutes to Senator Kane. In reverse order. Senator from Virginia. I applaud the comments of my colleague from Georgia deeply. My first job after school was in Macon, Georgia, working for a federal judge, Lanier Anderson. And I learned a lot about integrity and a lot about law from him. I also learned some sad lessons that in the history of Georgia and indeed Virginia and many states, so many people, especially people of color, have been disenfranchised over the course of our history. Our late friend, John Lewis, congressman from Georgia, was savagely beaten on Bloody Sunday just for marching for voting rights. That act of violence inspired this body, the U.S. Senate, to come together in March of 1965 and work to pass, in a bipartisan fashion, the Voting Rights Act. We should be coming together today after acts of violence as a United States Senate to affirm the votes of all who cast ballots in November. Instead, we're contemplating an unprecedented objection that would be a massive disenfranchisement of American voters. The Georgia result was very clear, a 12,000 vote margin, two certifications by Republican officials, four separate recounts and canvases, seven lawsuits, as in the other states. If we object to results like this, the message is so clear. We are saying to states, no matter how secure and accurate your elections are, we'll gladly overthrow them if we don't like who you voted for. But more importantly, what we'll be saying, really what we'll be doing, is as the body that acted together to guarantee Americans the right to vote, we will become the agent of one of the most massive disenfranchisements in the history of this country. So I urge all of my colleagues, please oppose these objections. Thank you, and I yield to my colleague from New Jersey. Senator from New Jersey. Mr. Vice President, I can only think of two times in American history that individuals laid siege to our capital. 